So, we're back here again. I thought I would never return to this place, but today, I've decided to do so. Hello everyone, welcome back to a Destiny video. Now I have not done one of these in quite a long time, like a long, long time. So I went ahead and gave it a try, you know, I got the DLC and it's been pretty fun so far. I am like level 365, my Titan is the best looking Titan on the freaking planet and I also rule this universe. But today I'm going to be showing you all how I've appreciated the DLC thus far. Now, I'm going to have like this little unique setup here like I'm kind of talking to you, to you guys with my Titan. It's pretty cool. I like how it's just like he's just so cool. Look at him. Admire his beauty. And um, so today I'm just going to be showing you the type of weapons I've acquired thus far and probably get some Crucible gameplay in there as well. But first off, I just want to talk about the DLC. If you're wondering about the DLC and if you should get it or uh, my thoughts on it, let's just start with this. It's definitely better than the previous DLCs that we've gotten before, right? Taken King was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie, it was alright. But the Rise of Iron DLC, the way it starts off, the story missions, the just the atmosphere of the game is really well done. And that's what I really appreciate about this game. The freaking gauntlets and the helmet I have just just add to this freaking mythos that I'm in and I just really appreciate it. This game really feels like it's evolving and I like the type of, I don't know, the nighty feel that it's giving to this space odyssey and I really do appreciate it. I've seen a lot of other of my fellow YouTubers doing some more Destiny videos as well so it kind of encouraged me as well to do this. So let me go ahead and show you what I've got so far and yeah, it's going to be a pretty chill, oh, pretty chill video, alright? So let's see. Right now I'm 350 because I have, I'm displaying my character's freaking armor, but if I were to go at the max light, I'd look something like this. Let me see, I think this is as far as I can go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is as strong as I can go. And I still look pretty cool, you know, I look like uh, I'm some kind of cyclops. But nonetheless, I still, you know, I took these gauntlets off Zavala. I took them, I raped them for them. You know, I got this helmet from a different universe entirely. My freaking boots. I don't know where I got my boots from. But, uh, yeah. So let's start with my Scott Rifle, the Angel's Advocate. These names are freaking amazing, right? It has Outlaw. The Outlaw perk is freaking phenomenal. Mulligan is all right too, but I use Outlaw mostly. And I got armor piercing rounds. This thing is freaking great. Just look at this thing. It's freaking gorgeous. You know, I'm going to be doing reviews of like my actual setup in a jiffy. And give me a couple of minutes, guys, because I have to do more videos. I have other things to uh, make about. But yeah, so far, this Scott Rifle has has done me justice uh other weapons i've been using is the shadow price shadow price is a freaking legendary auto rifle from year one look at that beauty it's just amazing i do remember the times where this and Cyril's regime ruled the crucible that's back like two three years ago crazy that time has flew by so much all right let's see here uh the the hindsight here it's pretty cool too. It reminds me a lot of Soros as well uh, because of this perk right here. Focus fire when zoomed. This weapon fires slower but causes additional damage. And if you compare that to the Shadow Price, it's very, very similar. So it's just kind of like the Soros versus Shadow Price thing again. Uh, I do have Soros Regime, but I don't like to use primary exotics usually. I mean, I do when I'm in the Crucible, it's one thing, but when I'm in PvE, it's a different thing. So, yeah, that's just something. Something really cool about that um, anything else like the Kvasov it's all right uh, Red Death is always my go-to and Hawk Moon is really for my hunter and my warlock classes because I have a very unique uh, setup with them but for my Titan I usually go pulse rifles or scout rifles I have some auto rifles just because um, I don't normally run fusion rifles especially on my Titan I usually just run a shotgun or a sniper but hey uh, the 2020 AMR is something interesting that I picked up. I believe it was from freaking like turning in uh, or just leveling up in my crucible. 
either that or in my own like new monarchy rank but this thing is pretty cool it has unflinching which is it's cool like read that it's easier to aim under fire while using the weapon that's kind of cool and then you get skip rounds it's all right perfect balance is something i really like and mulligan that's pretty cool as well uh, this sniper was very useful in the night uh nightfall even though i didn't get to use it i used the Yasmin instead, but this would have been pretty nice as well. And of course, I'm rocking Iron Gallahorn. Now, the main reason we're rocking Iron Gallahorn because I'm still waiting for a nice, strong, legendary uh, heavy machine gun to use for this for this build. Because with my Titan, I like to just use heavy machine guns instead of rocket launchers. Like you get more ammo. Because usually, typically, what I like to do is I combine the Ruin Wings and uh, boots that get, allow me to carry more heavy machine gun ammo but for this one is rocket ammo and so ruin wings never work so it's never like a thing um yeah so that's why you see the sleeper simulant here this is just just another gallahorn that i picked up you know no big deal thunderlord and my two swords i am a very big fan of swords in this game so yeah that's uh pretty cool so infection shell this is from the raid um it's pretty neat. It looks like it has like some kind of cancer growing on it. It's always nice to see that. Uh, Spectre or Spectar helmet is pretty sick. I love this helmet. I got other helmets here that I actually need to transfer. Give me a second. Those are. I always did appreciate this one. This reminded me a lot of Bobo Fett and Django Fett actually because of just the way it looked. Actually, fun fact that this. Uh, helmet right here was available all the way back in year one I don't know if many of you remember but this was a year one helmet for the from the Vanguard vendor and it was my dream to have this uh, freaking helmet and now since I'm able to carry with carry it with me through the years it's always gonna be on me another thing is the helm of inmost light these are two iconic helmets I've always loved to uh, hold on to it's it's very nice it's just so cool it feels like there's just like power seeping out of your helmet i don't know there's something about it that really stands out to me jovian guard is unique it reminds me a lot of savala's freaking shoulders or his gauntlets um right now it's mostly i rock them mostly because they have 361 defense uh defense lol but if I could, I'd probably be rocking one of these as well because this reminds me a lot of the Iron Banner gauntlets that I really did appreciate way back in the day. And it just makes my Titan look nice and clean, you know? I don't know, there's something about these gauntlets that I really like. Let's see right here. This is really neat. Obviously, this is like the uh, Iron Lord freaking armor. And you can make it look pretty neat. You can turn this off right here. I don't know, I, I like that more uh, subtle approach that it does to the gauntlets than uh, the other ones. I don't know. I like that. kind of like that. Obviously, the Kalipolis play is freaking awesome. Um, I've never, like, ever since I got it, I never let, let go of it because of the simple thing it does to your shoulders. Like, it gives you that little coat fur thing, which is pretty neat. I mean, look at that. Look at the way that just complements my Titan. I don't know, it just feels nice. It reminds me a lot of what Lord Shaxx ro rocks. Then I got like the, this thing too, which is all right. It's not too big of a deal. Someone just joined my session, so they're gonna help. They're gonna get wrecked here in a minute. But yeah, that's just basically what I run on my Titan. Uh, I'm st it's still a work in progress. I still have a lot of things to finish up on. Uh, boots, right now I'm still trying to work on what I want to do. My Titan Mark is the Season of Ages. Like, I love these names, guys. These names are phenomenal. Season of Ages 13 is freaking awesome. Then you got the freaking Titan Artifact, which I was run um, running Memory of Silmar, but I got Incubation uh, Shell just not too long ago, and it's able to increase my light. So yeah, guys, that's just the uh, main gist of it all I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you guys know that destiny videos will be coming and they will be coming very very shortly I just wanted to show you guys what I've done so far I've been playing the game so much where I've had no little to no time to actually make a video record it edit it and actually upload it so yeah just show me how excited you are for me returning to destiny videos and if it's a, like you know if a lot of you guys are in demand then I'll keep making it that is just a beautiful sight here. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do 
enjoyed this uh i am enjoying this dlc and i hope to bring you guys more destiny content in the future thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all in the next one